What's up nerds this is the second in a series of tutorials about Bootstrap. Today's tutorial is going to cover a couple wonderful things that Bootstrap can help us do. Colors, we're going to go over a little bit about the CSS box model and what that is if you're not familiar. And then borders and spacing so you can move things around and make things look a little bit different <clears throat> using the classes that Bootstrap already provides. So. Um, again, just like last time, there's a Bootstrap boilerplate that's an empty project with the CSS for Bootstrap and the JavaScript necessary to get things up and running. <clears throat> so, link in the description to get that boilerplate and fork it into your REPL account. Okay, so a couple things here. So, Bootstrap comes with some certain colors that are included in their minified CSS. You have primary, secondary, success, danger, warning, info. Light, dark, body, muted, white, you get the point. There's there's a there's a couple of them. I'm on Bootstrap's documentation, link in the description. Um, and then under utilities, I've gotten to colors. So this is really convenient because you can do things like just add a class for text primary or text secondary, etc. Um, you can do the same thing for backgrounds. Background dark, you could have background primary, background danger. And that will allow you to change the colors of the site pretty easily without having to write a whole bunch of CSS like for these paragraphs I want the text to be this for these headings I want the text to be this um, you can do this all with the classes that are preloaded into bootstrap of course um, you can also change these definitions what is primary success danger etc in the minified CSS for those of you who don't know SAS I'm assuming you don't know SAS um, and SCSS if you're watching these videos <clears throat> but you can take the bootstrap minified CSS in that boilerplate that I provided and you can for example take a look at primary okay here's the color for primary so you just do like control F you type that in as is BFF look at that best friends forever and you can replace it with whatever color you want and that'll affect it across your whole bootstrap page so that's that's a kind of clunky way to go about doing it. Um, there's prettier ways. The experienced devs will probably yell at me in the comments, but whatever. That's how you can do it. And then whenever you use text primary, whatever color you put in your minified CSS will apply. Okay, so that's a wonderful tool. Let's go ahead and add a few things so that I can show you some of these colors. So if I do text primary, we should expect that blue color from bootstrap to appear there we go blue colored paragraph right there ready, ready to go out of the box and you can do background primary text white there's another paragraph but this one has a background that is blue and white text okay so there's colors for you super useful use it don't write more CSS than you have to um, Bootstrap is already very semantic and very easy to use, so use all of the classes that are loaded. Okay, now let's move on a little bit to talk about the CSS box model. So, for those of you who aren't familiar, HTML elements, sometimes called DOM elements, are um, basically boxes on the screen. And each of these boxes has four parts. So you've got the content, obviously, usually that's text, like for paragraphs you have the inner text or for headings, you have the inner text. Then you've got padding, which is just a little bit of space outside of the content. And then you have a border, and then you have a margin. Okay, so um, Bootstrap makes it easy to add padding and margin of different sizes for different screen sizes as well. It also behaves with those breakpoints we talked about in the previous video, um, so that you can make your content nice and organized. So we're going to go back to the documentation under utilities. Uh, first, we'll look at borders real quick. So let's say I wanted to add a border around um, a box or a paragraph or something. You just do class border. And then if you want border top, border right, border bottom, border, le border left, you can do that as well. You could also add a couple of these, border right, border left. You could have those on the same thing. Um, so let's let's do an example real quick. Let's add a span. Let's just copy one of these, stick it in, and mess around with it for a second. 
So let's put a little bit of text in there so it so it actually shows up. Okay, there you can see there is the there's the blue border going around the text because we have border primary. Okay, now if we do border right for our CSS class, then it's just going to be on the right side. Okay, if we do border, excuse me, um, yeah, border top and then add border bottom, you'll get the same sort of thing, but on the top and bottom. Okay. So that's a little bit about borders. Um, so inside and outside of the borders, we have the um, margin and padding. So in the bootstrap documentation, you just go to spacing and there is a little bit about margin and padding in here. So this thing right here is beautiful because um, you can be very specific with how you want your margin and padding to behave. So um, go, go to the documentation and read this. Um, but in short, basically you're gonna have a pattern of either margin or padding. So again, margin's on the outside. It doesn't carry over the background color of your content. And padding's on the inside. It does have your background color, so that's useful. So you have MRP, and then you choose, if you want top, bottom, left, right, or X and Y. And then you say what size you want the margin or padding to be. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, or an auto. And this is basically um, if you're familiar with the EM or REM units, so it's about 16 pixels per time you go scale one. So this would be 16 pixels, and then this would be half of that, and then 0.25, you get the picture. Um, so let's go ahead and add a couple of margins and padding to our elements and see what happens. So let's do this to one of the paragraphs here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make a box so that you can easily see what's going on. So I'll make a div, and then um, I'll just add some styling to give it a height of 200 pixels and a width of 200 pixels. And we'll close that div up, and we'll go ahead and give that div a background color. Luckily, we just learned how to do that. Background success, so it'll be a green color. Boom, there's my my green box okay now I'm gonna add a margin just on the X side so we're gonna do MX and let's try two and see what that looks like so now there's a little bit of space on either side if I do MX3 whoops it's gonna add a little bit more so you see how that works now MX auto is going to center my box because it's going to put um, margin left auto and margin right auto on both sides. So basically saying fill in the other space until we've centered the box. Okay, there's an example of margin. Let's do some padding on top. In order to see the difference between padding and margin, I'll add a little bit of text in the div. So I'll just say, hello, I'm trapped in a box. Aren't we all? Okay. And then we'll do PY for the Y direction, and then we'll just add a little bit of space. Hello, I'm trapped in a box. Okay, let me adjust the space, make it like three or something. You can see that text is moving down. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of Y and see what happens. Now it's, ooh, that looks real nice. Because you got a little bit of space on either side, so the text isn't right up against the edge of the element there. So this is where padding and margins can come in handy when you're making content and <clears throat> laying things out on your page. Um, let's go ahead and add a border since we know how to do that. We'll do border. Um, let's see, what color should we do? Let's do dark. Okay, border's not very big. And sometimes I forget, because it's late at night, what I need to do. Okay, so you gotta have the border class, and then you gotta have the border color afterwards to make it dark. And we can do some border radius too. Maybe we'll do that as well. So let's go ahead and add border, and then rounded, and then one of the colors to see what happens. And maybe we'll add a number as well. Okay, so border, 
border danger we'll do a red border and then we'll have border let's see border radius is going to be rounded okay so you just type rounded let's see what that looks like ooh so we got that little kind of see that red color going around and it's got little rounded edges that's pretty cool okay let's do rounded circle why not I'm just trying things out you can try things out on your own too that's how you learn now it doesn't say trapped in a box well it says trapped in a box even though we're in a circle so let's change that because obviously we're in a circle now okay you get the idea so you can mess with these borders these background colors these foreground colors text colors um, and margins and padding and make your website look pretty okay happy coding